Okay, some Silent Hill 2 tonight. It's gonna be a slightly shorter Silent Hill 2 stream. Because I started so damn late tonight. But, if you haven't caught up, a lot happened yesterday. It's pretty fucking action-packed, pyramid-y stream. We learned very important pieces of information about the characters and their backstory. In particular, we learned that James is the singular of James. Actually, that's about all we learned. Did you fix the cutscene problem? I had a couple solutions emailed to me. I don't think they're gonna work because the, the options that people told me to check are already checked. I don't know if we're gonna have more cutscene issues, but... Certainly going to hope for the best here. The radio on! Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that there's enough saving, that if there is a problem, that if there is a problem, we won't have to go too far back. So. Oh, take, um, you know, turn your lights off. I just had to turn mine off. That's, that's important. Okay, so let's check out E. That's the elevator. We'll start with the right. Vinny, are you going to buy Crayola Scoot on the squ on the Switch? All right, I'm gonna answer that question one more time because I get it so often, and then we'll we'll really get into Silent Hill. I am not spending that much money on a meme game. But if anyone has any connections at Crayola, let me know. Because it sounds like a good game, based on the fact that it says Scoot. But it also, um, it's just, it's just a scooter game where you paint. And I would get, like, an hour out of that, or two hours at most, and then I would never put, touch it again. Sixty dollars is a lot for that. Chances are the video will get claimed. I'm good on that. I mean, I like crayons. I've used them. <laughs> I have that level of experience. Hang on a minute. There was, there was actually a loud noise for a minute, and then nothing. Might have been outside, it might have been a car door, or like, someone slamming a car door. At 2 a.m.? I know I have my laundry in the, in the dryer, but it doesn't make noises like that. So I'm just going to play this with one headphone off for the time being.
Did I just... Hmm. I was gonna say I couldn't really... ...do anything there. That's the only thing I can do. I don't know where to go. Let's go three. If you want um, music for Silent Hill 2 Elevator, again, Lou Reed Metal Machine music. That'll do you nicely. I hear undulating meat. Painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. What? See my logic. Check them all. Also, this loop. It's kind of shitty. You hear a pop. You hear it? Might not be on the original. And no, I'm not saying the game sucks. Just a little pop. Okay, it says here, um, she's an angel no one knows, only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them. Sin and sinners alike, she saves me. She is an angel. is kind of like finding a treasure chest with something good in it. These are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? Oh no. I don't like that breathing. I'm in, I'm in good health now. I don't know if the same can be said for Maria, whoever she even is. Why does poor James have to relive all this shit? Oh, don't mind me.
you just crush their ankles, they, they don't get back up. And no, I don't plan on wasting that much ammo. Is there a manual reload outside the menu that anyone knows of? No. There's still a couple rooms I didn't do. I want to get those first and then go to floor two. All of them. Um, yeah, aside from this weird fucking 3D door, which is like really creepy, we're going, um, everything else is locked here. hand door. It's like when you go to the Halloween stores and they have the the 3D videos that you project. It's like supposed to be scary. It's like just like smoke monsters and stuff. Well, what do they do? They... You can project them onto, like, um... Like a thin film... Or something. And it kind of looks like... You know, 3D stuff. Or you put- you project it onto a window. Or like, you know, glass in it. It's supposed to be spooky. I take the elevator to the second floor, the doors are stuck. So that's a neat trick. That's a good trick. Just running into the naughty nurse.
What were we calling them yesterday? Murder nurses? Yeah, I'm down with murder nurse. So I am hearing, now, separately from all the, uh, that, that one loud noise from earlier, I am hearing my laundry, like, you know, buttons on something or other, hitting against the dryer. And that is, when, when I don't hear the game, I hear that. So that just kind of takes me out of the, the video game mindset, I'm like, oh, it's real life. of the wallpaper is torn. I can see something drawn on the wall beneath. Those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain? Piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. Uh, what? I was so small. It was so small and dark and I was so afraid I dropped my precious ring, but I will never, ever go back there. Can we have a lynchometer for every time I compare this to a David Lynch thing? So whoever asked me which ending I'm getting in chat, whoever, I don't know why I said chat, like chat, uh, whoever wanted to know which ending I'm going to get, I've never played this before. I, 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 I have no idea. I'm just gonna play through the game and, and hope for the best. Something that looks like a refrigerator, will you- will you open it? Uh, 
There is a small ghoul inside. Hmm. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. It's at that moment I would use the pipe. Lever it, well, whatever. So, it's too dark to read the- oh shit. Okay, so I have, um, I have some new items. Dry cell battery. It's an ordinary dry cell battery. I don't know where to use that, but... Basement storeroom key was inside the wall with that strange painting. It's the key to the hospital basement storeroom. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Where are we going? I just keep hearing noises. It's, it's the- it's gotta be the laundry. And no, I'm not, like, setting up... I'm not, like, setting up... Like a skit. Where I'm- I accidentally- I'm, like, dead. Germa would do a skit. Yeah, Germa would invite family members over and do a full skit. Germa goes the extra mile. You should watch Germa. Our whole friendship was a skit. Why do you think he hasn't streamed in a while? I got him down here. Oh, he'll be okay. He'll be fine. He's in my basement's basement. He's actually in the dryer. When I say I was going to do my laundry, I just put Germa in the dryer. <laughs> oh, some nice blood. Good. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf. Can't open fridge, but can move shelf with one hand. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You could
couldn't care less about me. I'm sorry, who are you? you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Hey, you, you were in that little room then? There's the ring. You're in the basement's basement. Just like... Archetypes working. Just doing things. Without knowing why they're doing them. Just... It's in their nature to do them. Cycles repeat. That was the pig man and me. That sound you just heard. Yeah, you would expect things to be more, maybe not explained, but, you know, traditionally games kind of give you a little bit more, and then a little more, and then a little bit more, and you start unraveling things and understanding them as, as you go. So far in this game, I've only become progressively more confused. Which is good. You know, for the type of game that this is. Good. Like I said, I'm getting a feel for, like... It's hard to explain. I said the word archetypes before, I don't know if that was 100% correct, but... Stuff like that. Just motivations. Themes. Like, I'm kind of getting a little bit of that. I'm trying to figure that out. I know what you want. You want your goddamn ring. Because you have real hands. God, that's weird. Not good enough for you, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry twice. So, there's two of us now. Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in! What? Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat! Here you either answer the questions correctly and win a great prize, or fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment! I'll be and our lucky, or should I say unlucky challenger today is 
Excuse me? Wait, this guy? Some of the road names. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. My name? Well, that's the last of our questions. It's got to be that one. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. Man, I don't know. Um, what was that? Seriously. What the fuck? The lynchometer is at a maximum. Sorry, we're, we're going back. To, uh, we're going back to the save point real quick. I'm really bad at, uh, at elevators. I have failed miserably at the elevator multiple times by now. James can overcome his past guilt. Can he overcome the elevator? Silent Hill 2. Starring Beefcake James Sunderland. By the way, that art was made by um, a protege of, of um, Rob Leefield. So if the style is similar, I found this out recently, that is... Someone who worked with Rob Leefield, who was basically the dude's mentor. Sorry, I'm, I'm really, really, really shit at this game and navigation because of stuff like that. <laughs> the camera just did a crazy fucking thing. I was like, oh, where am I going? No idea. Third floor storage room.
second floor storage room. It's Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. Open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <clears throat> What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Mm. Vinny, I bet you know about the Captain America that he drew. The one whose tits extend into orbit? Yeah, I, I know about that, Captain America. Rob Liefeld. Is it pronounced? It's pronounced Liefeld. I've studied that man's work. There's a web page that has a lot of his most entertaining drawings. I've been on there a number of times because it's fucking hilarious. There it is. There's the man himself. Whose left boob can be seen from around his right boob. Is there a way to go into the world map, or, or check other maps from this one? I have to zoom all the way out. Nathan Avenue. Okay, so we got Nathan Avenue, that's correct. Lakeside Amusement Park. So, Lakeside Amusement Park. Uh, Nathan Avenue, and I don't know, I think Wal Walter was the name I remember, but I don't even, I don't know for sure. Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm trying real hard not to look at chat, but it's, it's tempting. Chat is very tempting. Walter Sullivan, yep. I just don't remember the order of the questions, so that I might need help with. If the chat is so willing to, um... Well, we'll get there when we get there. I'm not- I don't even know what the hell that even- that segment even is.
Hang on a minute. Uh, I have to go to the storeroom to answer these questions. Okay, so Walter was one, and I remember Nathan was three. I just don't know what the the order. I know it's uh, the I know the name of the amusement park. I don't know if it was three one three or two one three. This isn't even a spoiler. I know the answers to the questions. I figured them out. I just don't remember the order. This is just shitty memory. Question one was Fantasyland, um, Silent Hill Amusement Park, and then Lakeside Amusement Park. It's Lakeside. So that's three. One. Three. A lot of two one threes in chat. Fuck did I just get? It was just, uh, it seems like it was just an optional thing. Restores energy by relieving pain. Effects are powerful. Oh, this is extreme pain relief. How much ammo do I have? 127 and 72 shotgun shells. So I can, I can use my weapons a bit. Damn it. Yeah, my sense of direction is pretty bad, but it's also... It's the camera changing. It's the darkness. Kind of have a feel for the layout of the hospital now, but it's still... Yeah, it gets, it gets weird. If you say tank controls one more time... I'm gonna pull this car over, and I'm gonna throw your Pee Wee Herman doll out the window. And if you say Hank Contrails, I'll know what you're talking about. There's a note on the ground inside it is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I am not a criminal. And the praying woman. Someone's not an English major. Oh. 
Hello, Maria. Live. James just keeps losing people that look like Mary. Pizza with Eddie. Whatever the deal is with Maria on a, on a deeper level, if you just take it as, you know, face value as what it what it's what it's shown to you, poor James didn't really have anyone else in Silent Hill. Maybe Angela, but she was not. She wasn't doing so good. There's an old book here about the history of Silent Hill. Yeah, I guess he's got Eddie. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Some glitching happening. Hey, she is. Books about medicine, the town, and the region are lined up here. That was the shit lord. That was Laura. Reminds me of Angelica from Rugrats.
Probably not. All these doors are corrusted. Which is like, corrupt plus crust and rust. Corrusted. Let's save sound or music or whatever. Kind of sounded a little bit like the da 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 da. Kind of. Did he stop saying my name? You'll keep waking me up. Oh, Laura. Okay. Here, uh, Dan, Todd, John, James, Maria, Bilbo. Maria's dead. I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Find Mary, it's the only thing I have left to hope for. I do have empathy for this poor bastard. I want to go there, I don't know how to get there just yet. Okay. It seems I'm left with very little choice. Also, I'd like to apologize to any uh, Bilbos I've awake I've awoken. Awakened? Aw aw have escaped. They're just here to revitalize the town. Good.
James can really run for a long time. I mean, he'll be out of breath, but he'll just keep going. You don't have to, you know, let him catch his breath. There's no stamina meter as far as I'm aware. Way, and then I think I have to go up and around a lot of these outdoor areas. Since I started playing this game, it just takes a while. The Mario, the Super Mario World fence turtles taken to the next level. I think James should just wait here. This seems like the safest place in all of Silent Hill so far. Okay, so we have some locations now. Um, there's a location there. If I go to Nathan Avenue, I can go to the Historical Society, which immediately jumped out at me. I think I want to do that. I like how the wor the the words my name have just become a meme now. I'm so sorry. It started like this. It started with me going like this. My name? Like, real low. Because I can't do a Nathan Fielder impression. It's just low Kermit. And now... It just gets higher every time I do it. And I guess that... That, that made it... A thing. So... Probably a lot of confused people. Just watch Nathan for you, it's a good show. Where the fuck did I end up? Oh, man. I can't do that. What about Munson Street?
Well, let's let's see. Um, am I committed to this just yet? I don't know. I feel like this part is where I have to go. Fuck it, let's just do it. Alright, so here's the true Silent Hill 2. No light Silent Hill 2. Did you see the Silent Hill movie? No. Is it any good? I may have interest in watching it after playing this game. You know, I'm seeing some mixed reactions in chat, but some people that I, I trust their movie opinions say that it's at least entertaining or it captures the feel of the movie or of the game. Maybe I'll just check it out regardless and waste some of my time and maybe I'll like it. What video game movie is better than Silent Hill? I'm gonna say... Street Fighter, no. Um, I'm gonna say Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'm gonna say Super... Hmm. Pixels. to do. So, I'm at the place. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, so I'm at the place. It... Something is being pointed to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It wasn't actually a matter of going in. It was on the stoop. Okay, it's a uh, letter. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman inside the ground, inside of a box, to open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. You still do not wish to stop, James. I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Good. Not at all foreboding and terrible. We've come this far. Do you think James is going to be able to stop? Yeah, this game kind of makes me feel uneasy. Getting, like, the psychological... 
dread of what might be going on here and James being so stuck in the sunken cost fallacy of what might not even be possible, which is 100% not possible, which is that Mary is still alive. Um, it's it's bringing me to some, some not good places, but, you know, obviously that's the point, and that's good for what this game is. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty fucked. It's not really about shooting weird-looking things, which is part of it. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. <laughs> but you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. I'm glad I didn't miss that. Is James running faster now? Well, how do I get fast James again? Oh, I see. So there is some loose stamina system here. Benny, there's a second message. Oh, man. Can you just tell me what it is, maybe? <laughs> I'm already this far down the street. You already saw oh, the whole message, right? Yeah, I saw that one. Looks like some people haven't watched the first part of the stream series. Looks like someone's got a case of the Mondays. So, I don't know where I'm going currently, I actually, um, so this is the park. I might have to go down Catch Street. Probably said this the first time I streamed the game. Some of you would know. Some of you obviously wouldn't. But when I hear Cat Street, I think of a nice, expensive, giant pastrami sandwich from Katz's Deli. Door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Twenty dollar expensive. Delicious. I think it's worth it one time. At least one time. Maybe, maybe not that specific deli, but one similar to it. I'm sure there are several, but it's it's worth dropping a, a couple bucks on on what that you know if you eat that sort of thing.
Vinny, what do you think of Discord opening a store? Uh... I have some issues with Discord here and there, but... I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna use it. They're really trying to compete with Steam. Being able to launch games from Discord was something that I didn't realize was a thing for a while, and then they just, like, updated it to shove that feature in my face. And then I started seeing it more and more. And now they're selling games. And it's, for me, it's, like, not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just more things I'm going to ignore when I load Discord. But competition is good for Steam, and I'm not sure if they will get as big as they want to be to compete with Steam. But competition is good. Remember when Steam used to do like 80% off, 70% off? I'm okay with it if it helps Steam be a little bit more uh, competitive. Oh yeah, they used to do the fun events and everything, like little puzzles and stuff. Someone said it's artificial competition, though. People use Discord and Steam for entirely different things. But, like, if you break up a monopoly, isn't that also just artificial competition? So that the market doesn't get, like, ruined? It has to happen on some occasions. It doesn't always happen that way, but it's it has happened that way. Isn't there a famous case of that happening, where there was some big fucking company that was broken up into a bunch of smaller ones? Standard Oil. M.A. Bell. Well, there you go. U.S. Steel, British Empire. AT&T is now AT&T and Verizon. I mean, you can, I don't know what artificial competition means. It's just something someone said in chat a minute ago. But, um... I think when you break up one big company and split them into two, that... My, my first thought is... You know, my immediate reaction is, oh, that, that's artificial competition, I guess. But I don't, I don't really know. This is not my high point. I don't have very many of those, but... In this case, I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Totally out of my depth. Which I'm happy to admit. I know a little bit about a bunch of things. Some things even less than a little bit. But, you know, as you get older little bit becomes a little more, and a little more, and then you too can be an old smartass later on in your life. I'm looking for this angel statue. There's something.
Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Okay. For, you know, I got confused for a minute. I thought the circle was a spot that I'd been to already. And then I remembered how this game's map system works. So, I'm gonna go back to the circle. Good. <laughs> One thing that doesn't get better with age, you know, picking up a little bit, about every topic, or at least a little bit about a lot of topics. Sense of direction, for, for me, doesn't seem to improve. I'm good with memorization. I can drive in the city pretty easily. You know, I know how to get to where I need to go. FDR. West Side Highway. Numbers go up from south to north. On the west, you have the high avenues. On the east, you have the low avenues. And you can just kind of figure shit out from there. And But knowing the little tips and tricks, that just takes repetition. And, and it also takes not... Um, if I'm, like, slavish to my GPS, I won't learn the landmarks. And I won't like, pay as much attention to, like, all the little details and be like, oh, okay, this is where I have to go for next time. The GPS has made me pay less attention where I'm, you know, when I'm someplace new. But it's also invaluable, so I... I love it. I love GPS, man. I love it. So, uh, we here today we've learned that James has shovel hands. All metal box is fastened by bolts. I can't open the lid. James Sunderland shovel hands sun shovel never mind Someone in chat just said I fucking hate GPS it's distracting and often wrong It gets me to conventions in Boston It gets me to conventions in Philly It, uh, it gets me to places that I have to go I want to go to a place I've never been before I'm there with 98% accuracy. I like it. it. It gives me a good ETA. It gives me... a ballpark ETA. It gives me, um... You know, traffic updates, and if, uh... If it finds a faster route, it redirects me. I've had better experiences with G GPS than bad experiences. doesn't work as well in semi-rural areas, maybe. It's possible. I remember there was one time Mike and I went to, uh, a, like, a guitar store, and the GPS tried to take us into the ocean. We're going back ten years, almost. So it is very possible for it to be fucking garbage. Um, it's taken me down dead ends from time to time, but it seems like as the years go on, it gets better and better, and I don't have to worry about that as much. But it was like a Garmin, you know, specific GPS. It was really slow and clunky, and it was like, uh, is this gonna work? But... 
Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty rough. Is it the same one that said Boulevard Weird? Why you remember that? Holy shit. Yeah, I had a GPS that would go Boulevard. It was like an English accent, and it couldn't say Boulevard properly, so it would just... It would say it exactly like that. Turn right on Nathan Boulevard. I might still have that GPS. If I do, I'll look for it a little bit. And if I have it, I'll try to dig it up and, and get a clip of Boulevard. right here. Why is this a bad thing? Because I wasted ammo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some good mooing. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. Looks like he was a famous person in town. Photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? Maybe that's the hole that the bar is talking about? Probably used to be a painting here. Scenes of this area from long ago from the style. Looks like it was done sometime in the 1820s. There's a lot fewer people then and only a handful of buildings. Ta! Huh. There he is. Misty Day Remains of the Judgment. It's him. Good Historical Society, starring Pyramid Face, Head Man.
triangle bob. Oh, I see. So they're just, like, bored through the fucking earth. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is getting silly now. Think about how far down James just ran. This is... This is amazing. What a thrill. What kind of document is lying here? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. September 11, 1820. Prisoner number C221. Can't read the rest. What is this? Cellar. Prison. That's one place to build a prison. The very center of the earth. The only place to escape to is hell. James has fucking nerves of steel. His pair is not twisted. Hole's dark and I can't see anything. Would you jump down? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh god. Don't do it. Well, it's just a wall. It would be impossible to climb this. Someone in chat just said, uh, All's well that ends well. Different. Hang on a minute. Hmm. This is different. Ah. Yep.
The geometry of this place, the architecture of this place, everything is just so... so awful. I mean that not in like, oh, it's, it's designed poorly, it's like, it's just, I hate it. <laughs> could you imagine... could you imagine, like, actually fucking being here? The light went out. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 we don't like this. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There's a keypad. Um... <laughs> what a horrible noise! To shoot a bitch. There's a door at the bottom, the door is locked. Yeah, now things are just starting to not make 
any sense physically. Like the physical dimension of this whole place. It's just silly. And at least the other places had some... At least the other places had some... Like, I mean, it's getting worse and I like it. I get why it's happening somewhat. But you could almost be, like, fooled into thinking that you were in a place that made sense in the hospital or the, the apartments. Can't tell how far the blackness stretches. Let's go down. Just keep jumping into the abyss, Jamie. That's the, that's that's the that's the ticket. Good lad, top lad. This is your this is your psyche, and this is your psyche on drugs. The most sunken of all the costs. And ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie? <laughs> okay. The corpse, the body is marked with bullet holes. Damn it, Eddie. I liked you better when you just ate pizza. That's a spoon, not a key. Tablet of gluttonous pig. Metal tablet with gluttonous pig drawn on one side, found in the dining room. Well, I hate to do it, especially since I started a little bit late, but I really need to... Cut the stream here. We gotta do another to be continued. Again, the game is fun. Or is it? It just keeps spiraling. This one, this is the stream of this game that made me the most uncomfortable. And not just because weird monsters, that's cool. Just the further diving into the darkness 
this area in particular is fucked. Um, some of the events that happened, but also James's stubborn devotion to this this thing. He's got nothing left. And now the physicality of these places just isn't making any goddamn sense. But wait a minute. What's behind the doors? To be continued.